no score heading into the bottom of the third inning between Central Michigan and Northern Illinois. Mike Stark here joined by Adam Jakubiak, CMU softball on Modern Rock 91.5. It'll be Ellen Venker, the number nine hitter for CMU to lead things off, followed by Kate and Giroux. Venker, a switch hitter, hitting left-handed against the righty Greno. Venker playing behind the plate for CMU. Had a impressive day so far, I guess you could say, behind the plate, throwing out a couple of runners back in the first inning. No score between the Huskies and the Chippewas. CMU's managed a couple of hits. They've also made a couple of errors in the field. The 1-0 to Venker, she takes Caught that inside part of the plate. Seemed a little high and in tight for Venker's liking, but the umpire says otherwise, so it's one and one now on Ellen Venker. Venker hitting 192 on the season. Five hits and 26 at-bats. Lays a bunt down, and it goes right to Greno. Throws over to first, where second base Danny Thompson was covering, and so Venker is retired. I think Venker might have put a little bit too much on that bunt right there as it, the ball was back to the pitcher, Greno, very quickly, who tossed over to first to Wallet for the easy out at first. Tracy Cates now to come up in the third inning. One for one so far today. Got a single back in the first inning. Stole second, made her all the way to third. As she takes the first pitch, just got out that outside part of the plate. 0-1 oh the count against Tracy Cates, playing center for the Chippewas. Now has 23 hits on the season and 73 at-bats. She scored 12 runs, came very close to scoring that 13th. Tried to check her swing, but it's a called strike anyway. 0-2, now the count against Cates. Cates also picking up her 17th stolen base of the season in 17 attempts, so very successful base runner is Cates. One out here in the bottom of the third, and she takes a called strike three. So Cates goes down looking, and that'll bring up Susie Giroux with two outs. Tough at bat for Cates right there. The strikeout pitch looked like it may have been a little outside, could have, been, could have gone either way, but the umpire at home plate decides to ring her up for a strikeout. Susie Giroux playing left field for CMU and batting left-handed. Grounded into a fielder's choice back to the pitcher in the first inning and takes the first pitch low and away for ball one. One and oh, the count, two outs for Giroux for CMU. This is the 20th start of the season for Giroux. Came into the game hitting 266. Swings at the 1-0, drives it right down the first baseline. It's a fair ball, and it's into the corner. Giroux's going to round first and head over to second, and now she's going to take it all the way to third base. Slides and is safe into third base. Susie Giroux with a triple with two outs. CMU has a scoring threat. And what a hit right there by Giroux. He could not have placed that ball any better down the first baseline. Just went right over the first bat, the first base bag and into the foul territory in right field. Very nice hit by Giroux to get on third base and let's see how CMU can do with another runner in scoring position here with two outs. And that ball was literally just inches away from being the third out of the inning as Wallet playing first base just missed it. Now bringing up Seddon, swings at the first pitch, drives it right back up the middle, right out of, out of the outstretched arms of Krista McPherson playing short, and Seddon helping her own cause with a single to score Giroux. Great, another great hit by Seddon there. Got a nice fastball right over the heart of the plate, and she made no mistake there, who strokes it right out, as you said, right past the outstretched shortstop there and into center field. So one nothing the score now, CMU on top with a run here and all coming with two outs. Christina Novak now stepping into the batter's box. Swings at the first pitch, drives it to McPherson at short. She's able to take it to second base for the third out of the inning, but not before the damage is done. One run on a couple of hits for CMU, one nothing the Chippewas lead. You're listening to CMU Softball on Modern Rock 91.5. 